Okay, uh, for ECV3407, our, uh, this is our hydraulics mini project uh, which we go with the title of flow over sharp crested wheel. So we will begin on the introduction. Um, as you can see, um, our introduction about the sharp crested wheel. A sharp crested wheel consists of a vertical flat plate with a sharp edge at the top sharp crested placed in an open channel so that the liquid must flow over the crest in order to drop into the water below the wheel. There are a few types of sharp crested wheel which is uh, the first one trapezoidal, step notch, rectangular and also v notch but in our experiment we are doing about step notch and also uh, trapezoidal wheel. Okay we proceed with the objective. The objective is to determine the coefficient of discharge or CD for trapezoidal and also step notch or wheels and compare the values with the theory. The equipment and apparatus that we we have used uh, are our hydraulic bench, stopwatch, cutter, perspex, step notch, trapezoidal wheel as well as depth gauge. <coughs> Okay, so for the equation for coefficient of discharge for trapezoidal, the Q is equals to 2 over 3 CD, uh, B set 2G times H2 to the power of 3 over 2 uh, plus with 8 over 15, CD set 2G tangent theta over 2 X H2 to the power of 5 over 2. For the step notch, uh, the equation is Q equals to 2 over 3 CD times B1 set 2G times H1 to the power of 3 over 2 plus 2 over 3 CD times B2 set 2G times H2 3 over 2 minus H1 3 over 2. Okay, so let's enjoy the video of our experiment. First of all, we will set up the tables of the wheel at the hydraulic bench. Like this, we screw it together at the hydraulic bench. First, uh, and then we have to uh, on the valve, open the valve and let the water flow. And also we have to open the valve until it's the maximum flow of water can be achieved. Uh, okay, the third, the third step is to measure the depth above the wheel crest. Okay, so when the water, uh, when the point touching the trapezoidal wheel, it is actually starting from zero. And then we have to measure the depth above the wheel crest. It means that we have to lift up the point. 4.1 Okay, so then we take the reading on the scale, which is um, how much? 2.5. Okay. Okay, and so after that we take the distance H2. Um, the distance uh, should be taken. Uh, at a distance of about 2.5 kg upstream of the wheel. So basically we get around to uh, 6.25 kg. After that, we have to uh, adjust the pointer uh, to, the, yeah. to the surface of the water. And the reading that we obtain is 3.9. 
Okay. Okay. So the so now we are taking the reading. Um, the time taken for the discharge using volumetric method. Now we are in the fifth step, which is to repeat the uh, repeat the experiment using four other discharge values. From the experiment, this is uh, this uh, the result that we obtain from the formula for the trapezoidal area. From the formula, the value of CD obtained is 0 0.64. 0 0.64, 0 0.55, 0 0.31, and 0 0.25. And for step and notch, from the formula, we get the CD value is 0 0.53, 0 0.54, 0 0.53, and 0 0.53. So, we are for uh, so uh, after you observe that we so after you uh, so. We observe that there are slightly different between the values of CD for both wheels. This is because there might be some error while conducting this experiment. So the conclusion, we are able to design different type of wheel and able to determine the coefficient of discharge for each wheel. And we also gain knowledge on how to design wheel using best effective section. Best effective section.